Today I'm going to be demonstrating a rolling code exploit on a Honda CRV 07 model. Uh, this particular vehicle uses a MLBH LIK hyphen 1T FCC ID for the remote so this exploit will probably affect uh, any other models that are using this same exact fob so first I'll demonstrate that it does use a form of rolling codes and we will read a raw, config it, set it to Honda emulation. In this case our fob uses 313.85 megahertz. I'm going to turn on the sound so we can hear the what the remote sounds like and we're going to um, also config the RSSI threshold and set it around uh, 75 dBm And we're going to record it. So that's one unlock sequence. Now you're going to see if we try to play back the unlock sequence. Now, this is, that's if it played right, it will desynchronize the key fob, so that we know that that wasn't recorded right. So do it again. That one should be. So played it back. Mm. Let's try this. All right. So that's definitely a clean, a clean cut. So now this should be desynchronized. Yeah, okay. It's desynchronized. And then the trick is, is I clicked it once, twice, three times, locked. Send it again. Desynchronize. Resynchronized. So we know that if you send five uh, codes at least back to the machine, or to the computer, the ECU, yada yada, whatever, it'll it'll resynchronize the remote. So go to our saved. I have three saved here. I saved them under this as a as the model of the remote. I'm gonna issue a lock. See that five times on the fifth on the fifth one it locked. And then here's an unlock. fifth one it works the remote still works it resynchronized the remote as well so you wouldn't even notice but if we do it again that should be one two three four on the fifth one it resynchronizes so that's the issue with this remote and the CRV07. This would also affect the 2012 Honda Insight and probably any any Honda that's using this particular remote.
that's pretty much it.